ಹಾಯ್ ಹಲೋ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಎಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟು ರೂರಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಯು ಲರ್ನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ meaning and significance of rural development rural development and decentralization rural development and panchayat raj institutions rural development and women so these are the very important points you will learn from the lesson rural development let's come to the what is the introduction for this lesson India is a land of villages according to 2011 census a report of gives 68.84% of the population lived in villages and that is why mahatma gandhi ji the father of nation said that development of its villages is the true development of india obviously it writes because of india is a land of villages so then what are the conditions of rural areas let's come to the we are going to get what are the country conditions of the rural area however even after 70 years of independence the rural areas are a sense of deprivation and backwardness as nearly one third of rural population lives in abject poverty they lives in still the condition of poverty even the many development programs and plans have failed to improve socio economic conditions of rural areas even though so many programs it has been undertaken to remove the poverty condition improve the socio economic conditions of the rural areas but those are all the programs and plans have been failed and here there is a wide spread feeling that the development strategies the indian government adopted after the independence promoted industrial and urban development especially the rural industries which were already declining in importance further disintegrated due to the competition from modern industries so completely what we are going to be consider as a cottage industries small scale industries they are concentrated in the rural areas but those are all the rural areas rural industries were completely declining because of they are unable to give the competition from the modern industries modern technology they have been adapted and they are giving the competition for the rural industries and most probably with agriculture being non remunerative and employment not being regular because of most of the rural rural areas people they are adapted agriculture as their primary occupation as well as livelihood of their occupation but being it is become as a non remunerative as well as the employment is not a being regular in agriculture activities so that the rural people continued to migrate cities in search of job in search of employment opportunities in search of to improve their standard of living even the concept of the liberalization 
and globalization policies depend these problems by promoting growth in industrialization urbanization and service sectors consequently poverty has increased among the rural people who depend mainly on agriculture as we are going to be identify so the poverty it has been increased especially in rural areas though 60% of people work in primary sector nothing but agriculture sector the contribution from this sector to the national income is very less and declining over the years due to this gap between urban and rural areas is day by day widening it is getting lot of difference between the rural and urban areas in order to overcome this imba imbalance it is necessary to develop rural areas so dear children in this chapter you will study the meaning of rural development and review the programs initiated by the government towards it so let's come to the meaning and importance of rural development so here the rural development refers to the a process of economic and social upliftment of rural areas so that is the concept of rural development it may be defined as overall development of rural areas to improve the quality of life of rural people it is an integrated process which includes social economic political and spiritual development of poorer sections of the rural society if we are put the question rural development is essential then why yes this is the very important question stagnation and slow growth of agriculture is the prime reason for rural backwardness and a consequent poverty of rural people therefore more rural non farm activities need to be promoted which requires improvement in the field of literacy and skills health and sanitation improvement of infrastructure like transport power communication markets credit etc then only somehow we can improve the standard of life of the rural people further for agricultural development expansion of irrigation and land reforms also become very crucial thus rural development consists of a broad set of activities including improvement of literacy health infrastructure land reforms and irrigation apart from taking specific measures for ameliorating the conditions of the disadvantaged people in rural areas so hence if we are make to a list of activities that are essential for rural development so let's come to the what are those essential for rural development so here are some of the very important um, points so essential measures for the rural development among that the first one is called as development of human resource development of human resources including their literacy especially female literacy because in india the uh, men literacy rate somehow it is above 80% whereas may uh, female literacy rate it was very less below 70% so that we have to give the more importance for the female literacy even their education and skill development and the health addressing both 
sanitation as well as public health is also very important. So this is the essential measure for a rural development. And the next one, some of the land reforms. So land reforms also has to be changed. It has to be some of the very important facilities has to be provided through the government only in the form of land reforms. And the next, development of productive resources of each locality. So whatever the resources are available locally, those resources converted into as a marketing place has to be converted into as a productive resources. Then only if it is created the local markets for the local products somehow can be developed the can be rural development can be expect. And the next infrastructure development like electricity, irrigation, credit facility, marketing facility, transportation facilities including construction of village roads and feeder roads, facilities for agriculture research and extension and information dissemination are the very important infrastructure developments has to be uh, provided uh, for rural development. And the next one, uh, some of the specific programs of alleviation of poverty, even central government and state government, it has been undertaken so many programs for the alleviation of uh, poverty. So in that, it has to be properly has to reach to the rural areas. Whether it is reaching or not, we have to be makes the follow up for the program, a specific programs for the alleviation of poverty. So these are the essential measures for the rural development. So that's it about today's session. I hope you have understood till now what we are discussed. In case of if you having any doubts, you can comment in the comment box. I will solve your doubts and I will come back with the next video. Until keep watching my channel. Thank you. See you in the next session. Bye-bye. Take care.